Hi, this is just a little video to go alongside our flower art activity. This is an activity that every student in G8 and G9 can do. Um, however, you need to bear in mind how they're presenting, whether you need to do a calming or alerting activity with them first so they're ready to engage um, with learning. Um, for some students, it'd be making sure that you've got all that equipment ready before you start and it's somewhere safe and somewhere you can really access it easily. For other students in the group, it will be a, um, a good way of getting them ready by saying to encourage them to collect the resources either on their own or with you as well. And if you want any symbols um, that we can provide, let us know and we'll get them to you as well. In the activity, you, we use coconut flour, but you can use any flour, um, just that we use coconut because of the smell and the taste as well. But you can try other resources, you can use semolina, you can use snow because it's been snowing at the minute. You might find something else if you do that works really well, let us know um, if it's something they particularly enjoy. Focus on the activity being nice and calm, you might want some relaxing music in behind or you might just want it as quiet as, as you can at home. The idea that we have with our students is we're getting them to make good choices, they're being proactive um, and they're going to come and join you rather than us bringing them to the activity. So to start with, set up the activity, it can be on a tabletop, you can, we used a tough tray in the video but you can just use a normal tray, you can just do it onto a tabletop. Um, Put the, put, put the flower in and start to do it and use your save and start to do the activity. Even if they're just observing at this point, that's absolutely fine. We're just going to persist with that because as we know, repetition is the key as well as time. Take your time, do it nice and slowly. So we're aiming for them observing, then coming closer, working parallel with you tolerating somebody else and then we'll look at the joint activity and in the video you'll see that you'll see me doing it on my own the activity on my own student coming over that student actually would come over just with a verbal prompt um, but you know your, your children much better than that looking for eye contact facial expressions let them lead sometimes you copy what they're doing try and encourage them to do other things as well some students might just use familiar movements, so they might just do a flicking action, and that is absolutely fine. Copy them for a little bit, and then try and extend it as well. For some of our other students, it might be we can use it for other curriculum areas. So you might draw two sides of a triangle, and then get them to say, how do you finish off that triangle? Use it with different shapes. You can do it with letters. You can get them to copy letters. You can do missing letters in words. And you can do missing numbers in sequences as well. It can just be a very short session. That's fine. They might want to work on their own. That's fine as well. We've done it a couple of times in class with some of the students. And they've really engaged with it. Students that normally, I wasn't sure if they would come over, they have. So don't give up. Give it more than one go and if you've got somebody or you've got a hand free at any point where you can take a photo or a little bit of what they've done, that'd be absolutely great for you to send in as well. So enjoy, have fun and let us know how you get on.